welcome back to my channel it has been a while but i wanted to show you guys this gel x set i ended up doing on my mama she came to see me and her nails were in a desperate need of uh, just something to have on them and make them look cute so i love going in with these tips they are called lila they are from their neutral collection and i'm just gonna go ahead and size all of them Honestly, I really love the neutral tips, but you need to make sure that you are curing and curing and curing when it comes to these. So I honestly, I put them into the light for around like three times just because I'd much rather them be over cured than under cured. So I go ahead and size all of the ones for my mom. And then once I am done with that, I am going to go ahead and prep the inside and kind of move those to the side. So... These tips, honestly, I feel like they cut down my time so, so much, and I don't know, I just really like working with them, and I feel like they don't add any bulk to the nail, which I really like because you could just literally apply them and go. You don't have to worry about putting a base or anything, so if you're doing ombres or if you're doing French tips, I feel like it makes it so fast. If you guys haven't tried them already, I definitely recommend checking out their collection of these just because lila and mace i love those two colors in particular they actually ended up coming out with a whole nother neutral collection um they have one called whitney and it's like a milky white and honestly i want to get that another shape that i do feel like is a must-have in this collection is these long square sculpted ones and then after also if you could get your hands on the natural rounded ones in medium i don't know i feel like i love those i feel like i'm able to use them on a ton of different people but the only downfall is they don't have replacement tips just yet um i had seen i had commented on one of their videos and i had seen that they were actually like i had posted like please bring tips or like replacement tips and they put noted so i'm like oh okay i hope that that is something that it's like really taking into consideration because i love these tips but i just feel like i wish they came in a bigger pack and yeah especially because the pack is like basically half the size of the original black boxes that we normally see so if you guys are expecting a really big box like that um just keep in mind that it is kind of a smaller box but i'm gonna go ahead and prep these nails i am using a fine sanding band these are from the sanding bands are from medical um medical or something like that um i'll have everything linked in my amazon storefront so if you guys are someone looking to buy anything for nails i have everything already up there um if you're a beginner nail tech or if you are somebody who has been doing nails for a while there's a lot of things in there that i feel like is a must for me and i've been doing nails for around like eight years i believe <laughs> um now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my cuticle bit i love this thing if you have clients that it's really hard to get up in their cuticles i love the little football ones like this um i feel like i'm able to get all up in there in like the cuticles and everything and it doesn't irritate their cuticles being this close just because it's almost like it has like a safety bit on the other side of this one other ones that they look more like a needle like drill bit you want to if you're a beginner in nail tech definitely i recommend staying clear of those just because some of them, if they look sharp in the picture, I promise you they are actually sharp in real life. Um, so I have this one that has a really, really big point. And that thing is sharp. So if somebody moves or anything, I don't know, I get so anxious using it. So I, I ended up actually switching over. But I have been trying a lot of different cuticle bits. Um, so if you guys want to see my bit collection of uh, my must-have ones that i am using right now definitely make sure to comment down below and i'll go ahead and make a video for you guys all right so i went ahead and dehydrated and prime i like to do it twice and now i'm getting this a prey extend gel this is just one that comes into the pot i love doing this this way rather than having the one in the bottle just because i'm able to scrape out every ounce of product in here and i feel like using that flat brush that i had um in the video i feel like you're able to apply it so fast and that's something that i like about it 
So something I will say about these tips because you need to get used to them and you need to make sure that you are flowing the gel all the way to the tip of the nail. This one I didn't have enough gel so I'm going to go ahead and go in and add some more and place it down. But the reason why I say you need to make sure that it flows all the way to the edge is because a lot of times it is so easy to actually miss a certain part of it and it leaves kind of like a pocket underneath the nail and it just I don't know like I just feel like the way it looks and everything um and then after I just fear for a greenie and I don't want that so definitely make sure with these tips because it is a little bit hard to see the gel flowing all the way to the free edge of the nail so just stay clear of that and if it does happen no big deal all you're going to want to do is flip the hand upside down, apply some gel, and pop them into the light. But you want to make sure that it seals that area and there's not going to be any moisture or water going under the nail, like onto the nail bed or anything. But this little light, I did get this from Montage Nail Supplies. Um, unfortunately, they don't have it on their website, so I was finally able to find it on Amazon you guys so this light honestly if you are looking for a light I feel like this one a great great one to have and honestly it's super affordable I think at the time when I bought this it was like super super new um so I think they were only charging six dollars for it but now it is a little bit more expensive than what it was before but honestly you guys I feel like this light is a game changer for me I feel like I love that it doesn't have any cords. I literally had to cha charge this light maybe like probably like once every three months. And I do or once every like two months probably or one month or something like that. But so I literally just had to charge it the other day. Right here what I'm doing is scraping out the gel from underneath it just so there's not a big oak blob of it. But I love this light. I love that there's no wires and I'm able to kind of just hurry up, put it on my desk and then tuck it away. But definitely you are going to need something to set it on. But if you are looking to like completely cure your nails with this lamp, like do the whole thing, I definitely don't recommend. Um, something that I do have to mention with the appray stuff is that you want to be very, very, very careful when purchasing your lights i definitely recommend having two lights on hand if you guys are wanting to do this at home just because if you don't say if you're just trying to cure with that little mini light it is not strong enough to penetrate through the whole product so i definitely recommend getting a bigger light i have the kiara sky one right now and i have worked with another one it is artistic artistic is a really good lamp and so is Kiara Sky, but definitely you want to make sure the wattage the wattage on the lamp is enough to cure through those products. So with this product, I always over cure just because I much rather not give anybody a nail allergy from this product. Just because if you think about it, you have to apply a lot of gel, especially when it comes to doing the sculpted sets, which this one is a sculpted set. So. I definitely just much rather over cure and making sure that I am not giving people allergies because over time and time again, if you continue to not cure thoroughly, what's going to happen is that your client's going to end up having allergies or yourself. If you're doing this on yourself, you're going to have allergies and then you are no longer going to be able to even have this on. It ended up happening to my client. She unfortunately wasn't able to get her nails done for a while, so she opted out to a gel x kit and i want to say more than likely it was because the under curing it wasn't allowing it to penetrate but definitely keep that in mind when you are looking into the system just because it would be awful for you not to be able to ever have nails on again if you're not curing properly okay you guys that is enough of my thing on that but I just went ahead and blended the cuticle the cuticle the bit that I love to use just because it's soft and delicate is 
the fine one from Kiara Sky and it has like a safety head on it so it's great for people who move a lot so I definitely love that one because it smooths it out and it gives like a seamless grow out and I'm gonna go ahead and get my white airbrush and I sprayed alcohol in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple drops of this and you guys will see it's kind of separated but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up with my cuticle pusher and until it is all mixed up and I don't see no clumps or anything like that then that's when I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying so you guys can see it's coming out little by little. I know it's kind of hard to see if it's making a difference or not, but you guys will see me kind of going back and forth. Definitely when I'm working with airbrush, I feel like I have to go back and forth to each nail to make sure that I'm making them the same opaqueness, just because if not, I feel like sometimes, if I'm just going from one to the next to the next, I feel like sometimes one, I don't spray enough white on or Say if I'm working with pink or whatever, whatever color I'm working with, I feel like I don't spray enough of it on some. So I went ahead and did that. I definitely wanted to, with this set, I did want to kind of go up pretty high on it just because you can kind of see a little bit of a line of her natural free, or like her natural nail underneath, her free edge. So... I just didn't want to be able to see that so I went ahead and went a little bit higher which I personally really really like it being that high um, I know people that some people they like their ombres to start out really low but I think it looks really pretty but you could see even on this one I felt like definitely some of the nails they needed I needed to go back and like airbrush but when you are doing this I like to kind of just keep my airbrush moving you don't want to keep it in the same place because if you end up tending to keep it in the same place, what's going to happen is it's going to puddle. And when it puddles, it just makes it really, 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 really hard to um, kind of get rid of those lines or that puddling look that it ends up drawing into. So definitely, this is so easy just to wipe away. So if you have to wipe away, I definitely recommend. Um... I think they wipe away completely fine. I don't have an issue reapplying or anything like that. So what I like to wipe it away with is the alcohol. So I'll put alcohol on a lint-free pad and I'll go ahead and do that. But the reason why I like to keep it moving and making sure that everything is nice and seamless and blended is because even if they were to hold it up to the light and you have puddling, um, you won't be able, you might not be able to see it in your art design when you're looking just straight at it. But as soon as your clients go into the sun, I feel like it gives like kind of like there's like it looks like there's a puddle or it looks darker in that area. So just a tip if you guys do decide to get an airbrush and do ombres. Honestly, if you are a gel X artist and you are doing clients, I definitely recommend to get this just because I absolutely love this. But and you guys could see after going back and forth, making sure that they are nice and set. Um, <clears throat> they look so pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with a D&D &D base coat. The reason why I go in with a base coat, because I feel like this base coat in particular is very strong. It holds everything in place. So I love using it on top of art that tends to peel or anything like that. Which this, if you were to go on top of it with just... A regular top coat chances are you're going to have chipping and peeling which you don't want to have so it is key to have a good base like this on there you don't even really need to go all the way up to the cuticle with this base coat just because I don't know you're gonna end up putting a top coat on and I feel like the less bulky it does look by the cuticle the better I feel like it just lays so seamless and so flat so another reason why I also like to have a base coat is not only for extra protection, but is because we are actually going in with art on the nails. So this nail art brush is from Opulence Nail Co. And this is the, the Thin Thin Liner brush. It is a double-sided brush. And I am just going to go ahead and align my work. And so the reason why I like the base coat on here is when I'm doing my line work, if I mess up or I don't like the art, I could get another alcohol pad, wipe this away, and be able to start fresh without messing up the design of the airbrush. Because otherwise, if I mess up, 
or if I end up accidentally spraying something, or say if I was cleaning up the cuticle area and I accidentally drop some alcohol on her, her nail and it ends up messing up the airbrush. If anything happens to the airbrush, then I have to go back, airbrush, and then put the art on. And so it just ends up being more complicated than what it needs to be. So once I am good with the airbrush, doing that base coat kind of ensures extra protection. And if you mess up, you don't have to completely restart the whole entire nail. So that is key when you are starting, especially if you don't feel confident in thinking about that design, you're able to execute it. Definitely recommend if you're doing it over ombres. Just so you don't have to keep on wasting time in doing steps that were already perfect, you don't have to go over them again. And especially because with me, when I was doing this design also, I wanted it to lay super, super smooth and I wanted very, very thin lines. And I felt like I may or may not have to go in with a cleanup brush to thin out some of the lines in certain areas. And I just wasn't sure really of the placement of it. I kind of wanted to play around with the placement. And not all the time I feel like I like the placement the first time when I'm still trying to get a feel for it. So definitely this way I love doing it. This brush right here is a Boan brush. If you guys don't know Boan, I love their brushes. They also have really great brushes. <clears throat> but this one, you guys could see that it is definitely a thicker liner, like kind of a thicker liner brush. I love this brush to fill in my French tips and things like that. And then I, I like to use this other detailer brush from Opulence. I like to use this one when I am going in and making my French tip and making sure the line is nice and thin and crisp. I like to do that and then go in and fill it in with another brush. It's just my preference and how I work. Everyone works different, so definitely if this works for me, it may or may not work for you. Um, and sometimes also too what I'll end up doing is I'll use the brush of of the bottle just to kind of fill in Frenchies just because it is faster. And then after I'll do kind of a little, little touch-ups with the other brush, the Boan brush. But you can see how cute this design is looking. I kind of seen something like this from Chan Legend and I was like, what I love the inspo I think it looks really cute and my mom she lets me freestyle on her all the time so after I was done with that I cured that into the light and then I also um I don't know if I mentioned but when I put the base coat on I did also cure as well now I'm gonna go ahead and get this glue you guys this glue is something that is in the making so it is not out just yet because I am sampling other things but so far this gel has been the bomb it keeps the charms on forever until the next time they come back which I have been loving but I'm gonna go ahead and get these charms and I'm gonna put them down on the nail I don't have these in my Amazon storefront but if you need a link for them I definitely will recommend or I'll definitely write them down below if you want to get the big pack or just the charms individually they sell them both ways so I went ahead and put that into the light for 60 seconds and when I do the base gel too I also do it for 60 seconds in top coats like right now my lamp is all set on 60 seconds the only thing that gets cured over and over and over again is when I first apply the tips I'll put them in like three times just to make sure everything is curing like I need it to but so um, I like to even put the gel on the back of this just because I like to make sure that it is covering every area and I feel like sometimes if you put gel on like a base of something I feel like once you push down, it kind of goes and spreads out into all those nooks and crannies of where that gel is already on the back of the nail, if that makes sense. <laughs> but anything that's squeezed out, I want a very seamless look. I don't want to add any bulk or anything like that to the nails. Um, but I like going in with a little brush to kind of clean it up and allow me to just kind of fix it without having... Um, a ton of gel squeezing out just because I feel like it gives a, a lot nicer of a look not having all that bulk to the nail. 
And I'm going to place another dot and another dot at the top. And I have these really, really small resin gems. It has been hard for me to find um, stones that I actually like, but I do need to get on Serenity stones because I heard those are very similar to Sereski's old stones. So I really want to try those, but these resin stones I did get from Montage, but definitely depending on the glue that you are using with them. If you are using more of a, uh, a resin, sorry you guys, I was like trying to think of the name. But if you're using more of a resin, definitely what's going to happen is that the stones are going to get very, um, like they have like a cast over it once it cures and I don't like the way it looks but doing it with this gel honestly I feel like the stones they still looked really shiny even after even three weeks after my mom had gotten her nails done so really happy about that now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Tracy's nails top coat I love this stuff you guys um if you guys want your nails to stay shiny up until they come back I definitely recommend Tracy's nails. Her top coat is the bomb, and I feel like my clients are able to get the longevity of their nails, and I don't know. I just love the way it looks, the way it applies, and everything. So definitely, if you haven't checked out this one, definitely let me know. If you guys have favorite top coats, definitely leave them down below and let me know why they're your favorite top coat. But Okay, yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of these, making sure that there is no dust because if there's any dust that is causing any bumps in the top coat, chances are the look of it is not going to look as pretty and nice if it's not taken care of now. So definitely recommend and make sure they are not moving around too, too much with their nails just because our desk is filled so much with dust that even if you wipe it down, chances are if they're moving around a lot, it'll pick up dust and things like that from the filing and then it ends up getting in their top coat. I like to go in and wipe the sides and that is the final thing. I put it in the lamp for 60 seconds and this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know other things you want to see, our other reviews. Alright you guys, have a great day and bye-bye.